name is Jay Livens with Actifio. In today's video blog, we talk about five challenges with object storage. The first one is scale. Now you might want to get a cloud object storage which scales very nicely, starts small, can grow big, that's easy. But let's say you want an on-premise version. What you're going to find is that they often only come in very large sizes. So if you want to start small, kind of hard to do that with on-premises object stores. The next one is the interface. Now the industry is pretty much standard on the S3 interface. So the good news is a lot of them are fairly common. However, the extent they adopt S3, how that works, etc., can vary by solution. And that can be a bit of a challenge. Along the same lines, number three, as an extension of that, is application compatibility. Many of the applications we use today, things like traditional office applications or databases or those kinds of things, aren't really optimized for object storage environment. They don't really know how to use object store. Now, in some instances, you could put a gateway in front of it to make it look like a NAS device or some other kind of device, but now you're adding additional complexity and potential performance issues. So the challenge then becomes traditional apps may not be so happy with object storage. Now, next-gen apps can be better about that, but traditional ones don't often work so well. The fourth one is performance. Object stores are historically designed for long-term retention. That means they're very cost-effective. That means they scale really well. But that also means you typically don't get really, really high-speed performance as you might get from a traditional block array or other similar technologies. So the challenge then, on a pure object store standpoint, is performance. It might not live up to performance expectations, but again, it depends on what workload you're trying to run on it and what that really needs. And the final point, the fifth one, is data protection. How do you protect the data stored in your object store? Clearly what you have is very important data there that can be important to the operation of your business and can be meaningful from a business value standpoint. Thus, you need some kind of protection strategy. That could be replication, it could be whatever, but whatever it is, you need to make sure that you have a way to roll back in case some kind of corruption or error occurs. Now, how you do that can vary by object store, but certainly in the traditional world, traditional backup recovery products may not work the same way with object store as they do with traditional products. So when you're looking at object storage, think about how you're going to protect it. How do you ensure that the data that's stored in that object store is available, protected from unexpected outages? So with that, we have our five challenges with object storage. Thanks. Thank you.